Hello everyone and welcome back to Rise of Industry. I am Orion Dam and in today's episode we are going to expand our tiny little empire that we started in the last episode, which is already making between 30 and 39,000 a month, um, depending if we get the um, the apples delivered in this month or in the uh, next one. Um, so at the moment it's alternating between selling one or six apples a month and 12 because of this 20 days production cycle. Um, but yeah, money is coming quite nice. So um, let's see if there's anything in Morphing that we can... Anything in Morphing? <laughs> well, I don't know why I find this so funny. But it is how it is. So um, the tech tree, we almost unlocked. No, not here. Now we are currently making lots of gathering points. Not too much for farming. So we might need to extend our farming operations a little bit to get in more research points. Um, because industry is ticking in quite nice, I think, as well. Yeah, industry is going coming nice. We already um, got two-thirds in. And logistics as well, because there are lots of trucks running around. So, um, yeah, apples and oranges both makes no sense. So we could potentially add uh, one additional set of orchards here um, to speed things up. But the town is already at maximum um, supply in the farmer's market. And I wonder why this town is not adding new buildings. How much is the population? 16,000 at the moment. Let's see. Does this change every month? Because we have industry uh, influenced by 100 and the town says it's growing. 16,394. Merry Christmas. And... Happy New Year. 200 people. That is not much. Hmm. Yeah, so the hardware store is fully supplied. I wonder, can we make anything here? Um, to also supply this completely. So maybe this will then allow the town to grow faster? No idea. Or do we need more food? No, food is fully supplied. We don't need more food. That's fine. So we have... Um, the issue is we do not have anything available yet because... Glassworks and smelter is over here. So let's see, what could we unlock? We could unlock um, furniture base and barrels. Hmm. Work furniture, home furniture. Can we sell furniture bases and barrels? I don't think so. So we might need one additional point to unlock this. Newspaper posters, gift wrapping and cartoon books and deluxe books. Cannot make those yet as well. Um, so yeah, here we have fabric and dye and mattresses. But for that we need the cotton, which is at the plantation, right here. Huh, so this is also not viable. What about the food factory? Orange juice. Oh, we will unlock oranges soon. What is the recipe for orange juice? What do we need? We need carton, which we can make in the paper mill, actually. Just need to unlock it. Ah. Plan is. We need cardboard for that, and we already have cardboard available, so maybe we can change. Um, let's see, carton is 12.5 days, and cardboard is 15 days. Yes, yeah, so we are a bit slow on, the, on this guy. Orange is also 12.5 days. 
um, yeah, so these are some odd ratios. Hmm. Orange juice would sell nice, I think. Not in the farmer's market, unfortunately. So I think uh, um, for the moment, there's not much we can do here. This needs an electronics factory, this needs glassworks and smelters, chemical plant. Yeah, this is the stuff in the textile factory, but this only sells at 80%. So to do anything here, we need uh, either chemical, glassworks, or electronics. And this is quite late in the factory. Yeah, there's petrochemical and here's glassworks. Hmm. So we might need to find a new location. And I usually try to stay near to that. So let's see what the town of Brecht Hole has to offer. You want cocoa and eggs and steel. This is fabric again. Oh, pizza, chocolate bar, candied apples, marmalade. Oh, we can't do this. Yeah, this makes. Um, no, wait, what was it? Was it fabric? Yeah, it's fabric. So we need the cotton for that. That's unfortunate. So this is not an option. Mm, let's take a look at, look at Hognoro. You want... There are apples at 100%. This, this sounds nice. Over here we have cans, ceramics. They want dye. And I think we can make dye by, with water and berries. And berries should be unlockable in the orchard, right? Oh no, berries are also at the plantation. Ah, damn it. So yeah, dye is, is totally not an option for quite some time. Oh, and we can, uh, can unlock the juice roots. Which means, over here, we can change production to... Uh, was it oranges? Oh, grapes. Okay. Can set production to grapes over here. And over here as well. Yeah, this should bring in some more nice mud. So, let's see. What are we going to do here? Um, all this is also not an option. Fabric and dye yes, as well carton yeah, this is quite an improvement over the cardboard so do, does, does, do you also require this yeah but only at 80 percent so maybe um can we set up Why did we make so little money this month? Not sure. Um, can we set up carbon production over here? Let's check the numbers again. We need that. So 12.5 days and we need one cardboard that is made in 15 days. Mm. So the ratio over here is 6 to 7. So we need um, 7 cardboard paper mills and 6 carton paper mills, which we can never ever afford. And we're still making no money over here. What's going on? They are all working. And 
now we are losing money. No, because you are not selling your stuff. Farmers market. And you as well. Okay, so if you change the production, you also need to change um, destination. Ah, now money is coming in. That's good. Okay. So we, we made, made it almost to zero. So I think the, the this cardboard stuff is enough to pay the complete upkeep for the orchard. And everything the orchard is selling um, is uh, what's making what's making us money at the moment. That's nice to know. Anyways, let's get back to Cartron. Um, the issue is that we can never ever afford this seven to six ratio, which would mean thirteen factories, and we can never plop down thirteen um, of those. I think with the supporting infrastructure, we may be able to support one at two factories at the moment. Um, I wonder if it makes sense to set this up as it is right now, uh, with one lumber yard, one water siphon and two factories here. And then instead of building an additional water siphon and lumber yard, make those two paper mill factories produce the carton. Um, how much would this require us? It would cost us 1.8 million for the paper mill factories, plus the lumber yard, plus the water siphon, plus the roads. Well, let's quickly check what this would cost. Lumber yard is 100,000, so this is not much. Water siphon also not much. Um, plus the harvesters and infrastructure. Yeah, let's estimate an additional half a million for this for those both and then 1.8 or let's say 2 million for this so 2.5 we need 2.5 million um to set this up hmm let's see is there anything in the tech tree that we can unlock oh we can we can unlock the water siphon is there something at farming? No farming is not ready yet. Um, fisherman Pier. Oh, oh, we can go back down to here. Copper mine, iron mine, coal mine. I'm not sure if this is actually worth it. Um, because we don't need that yet. Yeah, this is not needed right now. We can just start to unlock those to get the additional bonuses. Because right now we don't need the fourth and fifth harvester anyway. So let's just unlock the coal mine. Just to work towards these um, bonuses. So now we are at 1.8. How far is it to sell it to here? Because potentially we could just unlock the track depot. Um, switch production. Oh, this is a nice idea. Not sure if this is worth it. And it well <laughs> might very well be our bankruptcy. Um, but here's the plan. We will delete the lumber yard and the water siphon over here, switch those two paper mills to carton, and then ship the carton from here to Hognoro with a truck depot um, trade route and sell it to the hardware store. So the production costs would be the same as for the cardboard. No, not completely. It needs two additional paper mills. But it sells at more than 
twice the amount, twice the infrastructure of the truck depot. Um, I think we can afford the truck depots, both of them, plus the permit. So um, if it is not working out, we can just delete it. But I would really like to check to test this. So let's buy the permit for this region. Oh, this also has the gas, which is nice. So now we have gas and oil available. Um, and in the tech tree, let's unlock the, no, not the 18 wheelers, let's unlock the truck depot right here. And then I think for, for truck depots, you, there is no penalty. If you are too near the town, you can just put them right next to it. Yeah, so here's the truck depot one. And then the next truck depot here will be that. And then let's pause the game and make sure everything is set up. So um, we need to unlock carbon first. Yeah, right. Uh, industry. Where is it? Newspapers. Advanced press over here. So let's unlock this. Go switch production to carton and switch production to carton here as well and then you will send your stuff to paper mill 3 and you will send your stuff just no factories to paper mill 4 and you will send to Truck Depot 2. The same for you. Right here. And then the Truck Depot 1. Um, I think Carton is a component. Yeah, it is. You will send <coughs> to the hardware store. Now this is set up. Is there a disable button? Yeah, we can disable this for the moment. We can disable that for the moment. And then we need the trade route. So we'll add a truck. A truck route from depot two to depot one. And yeah, you will choose carton. I'm not sure if we actually need this much. I want to have a steady flow, so I think it's better just add more of those here. We can get three. I think this is fine. So let's speed up the game and see if this is working. Let's see how Carton is looking. No idea. <laughs> this looks great. And as soon. Yeah, how is disabled and all that? It's supposed to plan. Oh, did we start the trade route? I don't think so. Yeah, start that. Oh, look at that truck! Big one. Du -du -du -du. Driving around in my truck. Di -di 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 Man, this is quite a distance. But now we should see. Yeah. So this shipment was was worth. Um, oh, there's the second one arriving. Look at that. Eighty-six. Woohoo! That was a nice month. There's another one going on. So I guess this was worth it. Let's just wait for one more month and see how this turns out. 
because I would expect it should arrive in a minute. There's another one going on. Oh, there's also some money ticking in from the orchards. Yeah, but this will not arrive in time yet, sure. That's fine. Fine to me. Um, and let's check out how many trucks we need. There's a second one. Yeah, so two trucks are enough. Let's add a third one just for sanity. Now we made 17 the last month. And let's see if this shipment arrives in time, which it does. Forty-one. Okay, so we had 80, 17, and 41, which is 100, about 140 divided by three, um, which is a little bit more over 40,000 on average, which is better than before, I think. So yeah, let's just bulldoze the lumber yard. Um, add the missing roads here. And here. Yeah, no, this, <laughs> I'm not sure why the 339. This is just because we sold the lumber yard and the water siphon. Um, we can also demolish this roads. All right. So this is already starting to look quite nice. Is there a truck already on its route? Oh yeah, they just arrived. So one of those shipments is worth um, 72,000. Cool, so we reached a second level of, of, of production with our two factories just by switching production over. Um, yeah, this town is now growing. Oh no, it's not, now it's stagnating. Yeah, because um, just the farmer's market seems to be not enough. Now it's growing again. So it's alternating between growing and Stagnating and let's check out Hognoro. Yo, you already bit a second building over here. This was not here before. But this is no, this is still no, no, it's growing. Because the hardware store received its its stuff. Yeah, but we can can set up um, some um, more farming on this town as well and grow both of them. Um, and then we will take a look at what we do next. Um, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.